What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about but Predator Badlands in this video here today since we know that's supposed to be the new upcoming standalone film from Dan Trachtenberg. But before I get into that, I do want to talk about Terrifier 3 or a small update on Terrifier 3. So we got a new look at art in Terrifier 3 today along with these comments from David Howard Thorne when speaking with Empire. He said, there's one particular thing I have a hard time stomaching. He said, I don't want to say what it was, but I almost vomited. Of course, everybody thought it was hysterical. I think we've heard about this in the past. They put it out on Twitter and Facebook, I think, laughing at him. So they thought it was hysterical that I had a reaction like that. Like, oh, we finally got him. Considering the serious bodily mutilations that have occurred in previous entries, it sounds like Leone might somehow have upped the ante even higher this time according to thornton there's one sequence in the threequel that will be very controversial which again he's talked about in the past on the video i left a link in the description of my last upload he said people are going to be surprised by the depravity that we get up to in that scene now a lot of us are again assuming this is going to be involving the little girl from the teaser we saw the very first time we got a teaser which was late last year now i also want to share with you guys an update on these popcorn buckets and cups i think was being campaigned cinemark has some art the clown popcorn buckets and cups that are actually coming they're supposed to go on sale from what i've heard at the end of next month so i'd imagine an announcement is coming shortly as for the designs i've seen them and i like them but i will say don't expect them to be anything over the top or like blow your mind wow it looks like art the clown is sitting on santa's chair on one side of this cup and on the other side you have the terrifier three text and again, like I mentioned, there was a campaign push for this. So it's cool that this was able to be a success. Uh, we got that new image, as you saw, coming across your screen here at the start of the video. Now, we have the trailer dropping tomorrow morning, and I'm sure we'll get more tomorrow as well with that trailer. Some of you might even be able to purchase tickets already, depending on where you're staying at, because apparently there's tickets that are available for Terrifier 3 in certain areas. I think the areas I've seen highlighted are Texas. So check your local listings. You might already be able to purchase tickets for Terrifier 3. There's also supposed to be some sort of double feature for Terrifier and Terrifier, or Terrifier 2 and Terrifier 3. So depending on what you wanna go see, check your local listings because apparently a lot of you are already able to buy tickets. So now we're gonna talk about Lean Badlands. Now, we first got a report about this earlier this year from Deadline, saying following the massive success of the Predator pick, Prey, 20th Century is moving forward with the next film as Deadline is hearing Dan Trachtenberg is returning to write and direct Badlands, a new standalone pick in the franchise that is expected to shoot later this year. The film is a high priority for the studio, and sources say Trachtenberg and execs are already meeting with talent for the lead role. Trachtenberg also co-wrote the script with Patrick Eisen. Now, Another report came out saying sources close to Deadline say that Ellie Fanning is in negotiations to star in the film with Trachtenberg directing. Also, in both reports, plot details are being kept under wraps. However, it would appear that a casting call from, well, I, I don't know, if I, I'm not even going to say it. I'll just leave a link to it in the description so you guys can know it's legit. A casting call has surfaced online or at least been tracked down and it appears to coincide with what we already know about the Badlands film. It's for a film under the title of Backpack. It's described as a feature film. It's from 20th Century Studios. Hmm, how convenient. The director attached, Dan Trachtenberg. And it goes on to mention it's shooting in New Zealand, which I think we heard rumblings about this already, that that's where Badlands will be shooting. And it's saying it's supposed to be shooting from late June through September. So they're already filming at this point, of course. It goes on to talk about how training will be required for a minimum of one month before production begins. However, we get more. We get some plot details and an idea of the two protagonists you can expect to have in the film. This is possibly who Ellie Fanning is going to be starring as. So it's described as a groundbreaking film in which one of the two main storylines delves into the intricate bond of two very different sisters. Their familial ties are put to the ultimate test as they pursue divergent paths and missions. Now, they're described, they're called the two sisters. Apparently, they're called Thea and Tessa. It says this casting is for a dual character, so they want one person to play both. And describes both character identifies as female or non-binary, open ethnicity, mid-20s, mid-40s. Tia has spent most of her life in a laboratory and is now embarking on her first big adventure in the world. She is incredibly smart, witty, enthusiastic, and unflappable. She has an innate disregard for danger, not because she's fearless, but because she's naive. 
story comedy chops or strong comedy chops are required. The other sister, Tessa, has a militant intensity when it comes to achieving her family's goals and mission objectives. She will not let anything get her get in her way, not even her twin sister. So that gives us an idea, again, of who Ellie Fanning is going to be starring as. I don't think we've heard of any other casting news about Badlands either. But this does sound intriguing. Obviously, it sounds like it's going to dive into some sisterly things and in the back in the backdrop of all of it you'll have one of the predators but we're gonna have them obviously involved this has to be related to badlands because the casting call lines up with everything that we know it's a 20th century production it's dan trachtenberg attached it's shooting in new zealand how convenient why is dan trachtenberg attaching to this if it's not for that badlands predator movie so we have our first plot details for the badlands film that has surfaced online you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to badlands why or why not did you even enjoy prey because i know some of you probably didn't even enjoy prey and don't want to see any more from dan trachtenberg i personally think he did a fine job with prey i thought it was adequate enough uh it wasn't a bad film by any means it did have its shortcomings particularly when it comes to how they were talking to one another. That bothers me still when I revisit it. But let me know again what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.